What's up guys and welcome to something new. This is called the Universe's Mini. It's basically an unscripted series uh, that I'm going to do of short videos explaining various topics on versus debates or maybe going over some of my old ones explaining better while they're right if I didn't do a good enough explanation before or explaining why they're wrong now or why I think they're wrong or why they're outdated or why I used to think they were right. Just all kinds of various topics on my previous debates and versus debate in general. Maybe I'll review some death battle episodes. Maybe I'll review some cartoon fight clubs since they're apparently getting on a better schedule and I'm really excited to see what they can do. Um... But, yeah. So, I'm going to dive right into the first episode, which is Little Mac vs. Epo, or Epo vs. Little Mac, whatever order you want to say it. Um, I still believe this one is correct. And I'm going to explain why, because that's what the series is about. Alright, so in terms of strength, they're pretty much about equal. Epo characters can hit with up to two tons of force, and they're pretty much wall level. As for Little Mac, it's the same. Um, he can beat people who punch bulls into the sky, he can beat someone who can withstand a bull's charge. And Mr. Sandman, who did destroy a building over time. That's one thing people like to point out to me, is that Mr. Sandman leveled the building. But if you watch his little character introduction slides, you see one arm punching through the brick wall, then another arm alternating and still hitting that same wall. So there's no, there's nothing indicating that he destroyed that building in a short amount of time. He could have been punching it all night, or he could have been punching it for three seconds. No one really knows. But we do see him destroy a brick wall with a punch. So wall level, definitely. Maybe slightly low room level, if that's a thing at most, but definitely wall level. And yes, there is Gigamat, but G uh, Gigamac, not Gigamat, I'm Matt, uh, this is Mac. Um, but Gigamac greatly reduces speed and intelligence and skill, so it's very useless aside from more strength. And considering the speed advantage Epo has, huh -huh, that would make it even more useless. Um, okay, so Mac's fastest uh, speed feed is keeping up with Piston Hondo who was able to outrun a bullet train. That's pretty good for a regular boxer guy. But Ippo is able to fight characters who can move faster than the eye can track and can create after images. Example being Miyata-kun! Sorry, I had to do that. But yeah, there's the speed. And then here's the big one when it comes to stamina. When Mac has too many of his punches blocked or when he takes enough hits, he gets all tired and can't throw punches anymore because he's so tired. All he can do is dodge. And that... Mac can only go for three rounds. The most Mac has ever gone is three rounds of a boxing, boxing match. That's his stamina. That is Mac's stamina. Not gameplay mechanics only. That is his stamina. That is what we see. That is the most we see him do. That's the most we see him able to do. No excuses, guys. No excuses in making up off-screen stuff. Epo, on the other hand, can go for five rounds, six rounds, wear down the stamina of Date-san, who can go for ten rounds, and Epo can get knocked down several times, miss as many punches as he wants to. He can fight while he's unconscious. He just has an insane stamina that Mac really doesn't scale up to. And then, of course, there's their arsenal. Mac has hooks, jabs, and then the star punch. Ippo has all that and more, like the heartbreak shot, which can stop an opponent's heart for a second or two. He can paralyze people by grazing the tip of their chin. There's just all these crazy punches with weird effects that Mac has never seen and is not prepared for. Meanwhile, Mac is an average boxer in terms of his arsenal. And yeah, Mac has faced some pretty weird boxers, like a Great Tiger who can create illusions, and Aaron Ryan who puts horseshoes in his gloves. But that's all they really do is punch. They punch in weird ways, but they still punch. They don't have any heart-stopping effects or stunning effects like Ippo does. So Mac is the as basic as you can get boxer that Ippo has fought quite a few times and knows how to beat. Meanwhile, Ippo is filled with all these new abilities that Mac has never seen before. Trust me, I researched this. Everything even down to the stance Mac uses would make him an easy opponent for Ippo. Mac is a right-handed outboxer who uses the orthodox stance. Right-handed outboxers are the easiest people for Ippo to beat since he's a right-handed inboxer. He could rush in and he won't get tripped up for thrown off rhythm like he would if Mac was left-handed. And now the final thing I was saving for last, who anyone cares to stick around this long, Donkey Kong. Explain Donkey Kong, Leo. What about Donkey Kong? Uh, if you don't remember the crossover rule, crossover characters always have a new version, but if you're insistent on keeping the country-level, massively hypersonic Donkey Kong for whatever reason, even though it makes no sense, 
because it's a crossover. If you insist on that being the case, there's nothing implying Mac actually beat Donkey Kong. In fact, there's implications he actually loses. Donkey Kong is the third fight in the mode titled Mac's Last Stand. No matter what, Donkey Kong is always the third fight. And canonically, Little Mac retires in that mode after he loses three times. So it's implied that he loses to Donkey Kong and whoever the two before that were. So there's no canonical proof Mac actually beat Donkey Kong, and even if he did, there's no reason it should scale because it's a crossover and crossover versions are split, like Akuma and Tekken 7. So yeah, I hope that explained better on why Ippo Makunochi, Makunochi Ippo, beats Little Mac. Hope you enjoyed this first episode of Universe's Mini. Tell me what topics or fights you want me to go over down in the description or pff, comment section below. Leopold the Brave, out.